Yeah. Kel Mitchell was on Club Shay Shay. It's a <clears throat> big deal. Um, Kel Mitchell has, you know, come out and dedicated his life to Jesus. He's been in the Christian hip hop circle. He's been doing songs with people. Um, and he got on Club Shay Shay and told a wild story. Let's hear this. Marion, uh, my ex-wife, you know, uh, because we had another had baby. We had the baby, mm-hmm. right? We had the abortion, but then we had a baby. Mm-hmm. And uh, she ended up telling me that the baby that was aborted wasn't mine. And so within that process, uh, oh, you man. are immediately married within a lie already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the so the yeah. marriage was never the same after that, was it? No, it was. Uh, this is this is at the beginning. <laughs> it was other times. Uh, she had gotten pregnant, other things, and it just got to a point. She had gotten pregnant again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. While y'all were together. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it wasn't you. Not with me. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> no. Kale. It wasn't me. It wasn't. And me. you stuck around. Yeah, I stuck. around. So, <laughs> so the story went on from there. There was a lot more to it. Um, he he caught her in the in the act. Yeah. Even after catching her in the act, he stayed. Yeah. Um, Bless his life. Yeah. It, it crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, what do, what do you think? How far is too far, bro? In a marriage. Um, <laughs> I listened bro. to that whole interview. <laughs> How far is bro. too far? That? I listened to that whole interview, bro. And when he got up in the hotel room. And saw like when he saw what was going on in the hotel room, that should have been the day he was like, "We're Before good, that. we're good." But he said he stood around, they talked it out, and they stayed. Now, if y'all haven't heard this full interview, y'all haven't heard this full interview. There's a lot of things I Go wish I could have told. We're gonna get Kale. into more of it. There's a lot I wish I could have told him, like you know. God will only want you to go so far. Mm-hmm. It's great that you're a family man. You want to keep the family together. But that put him in a toxic, almost decade long situation that he didn't yeah. that he didn't like, have to be literally in. Literally his whole life is completely yeah. different. I mean, just yeah. don't don't forget the first part. Yeah. He thought he got her pregnant. This is before they got married. Mm-hmm. Thought he got her pregnant. She wanted an abortion. She had an abortion. They had another child. They get married, and then she says that the first one wasn't his. Flag on the plate. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What, 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 what we doing? Yikes. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Like, I'm careful on this kind of stuff because it's easy to say what you won't do when you're not in somebody's shoes. Yeah. Sure. Situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't necessarily know how he grew up. We don't know what he saw a parent go through or a loved one go through his and his mentality. I've seen together. people. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people who just endure all kind of crazy stuff in relationships because they seen their mama stay after their dad cheated for 40 years you know what I'm saying like so you never really know Mm -hmm. but as for me in my house you know what I'm saying like you got pregnant by another dude abortions I'm catching the whole it's not gonna get that far but at the same time like you said you just never know what that man went through and he's it's almost like Jose and Gomer you know what I'm saying and Mm -hmm. uh It's like, you know, with us being Gomer and God, you know, chasing after us repeatedly. So I see a... You see the desire. I see a desire. I see a love with the Lord in the midst of it. It's just so extreme. It's just like, bro, what does it take? I I, I sympathize with this because, I mean... If if you are and I and I don't know if he he grew up in the church, but I don't know if at this point he's saying that he was like fully committed. So I don't know if his motivations were godly or or what. But I understand that there's a lot of um, people um, who are like I'm a Christian. I need to stick by um, my person no matter what. But there is there is um, you know if somebody breaks the covenant, mm-hmm. you are you are free to go at that point. Now you mm-hmm. you you can forgive. Mm-hmm. But you are not like bound anymore. They they have severed your covenant, like like straight out of sure. Jesus' mouth. Now he still hates divorce, mm-hmm. so I understand this desire to okay, I got to keep doing it. But when somebody is totally like, I don't respect this marriage. I'm ripping up this covenant. Like you you have you have the freedom at that point. I, I believe under God to say that's enough. You think he did some dirt, and then he was just like, you know. What well, I'm okay, so there, Jer- uh, Jeremiah put in the chat. She has now alleged some things on him too. Mm-hmm. How about to say it had to be like both sides? Cause you even sit back like on square. Ah, that's the yeah. the yeah. alleging yeah. on her, the alleging from her is nuts. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Um, so I don't know if she's just you know. Well, he was gay, uh, uh, he so was, so we don't normally do gossip. So I'm trying not to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll right. say this. The things that I, the things that he exposed in this um, situation was. Let me say this. Let me say this. We say we say we don't do gossip, but we're allowing him to speak. So let me let her speak. Her, she's saying 
that um, he, she caught him with Nick Cannon doing weird stuff. Yeah. Mm. I, I knew it had to be a, a so that a guy. that's, I just had to that's have her that. allegation. <laughs> you know, I didn't mean to say it like so that. Why so, he, so why would he even say anything to him? So if you're doing dirt, why would you go so, and try to? So act again, like, we don't know <laughs> both so, of these people. You know this is their testimony. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. You. So right. I don't it's know who again. We're we're hearing this from his side, and this is yeah. why it was a little sticky hearing all of this from him because she she because we know him and we know like that's the power dynamic thing. We know him. We're fond of him from you know Good Nickel, Burger yeah. and <laughs> all of that, and Keenan and, and Kel. Right. We we know him, so we're prone to be on his side. So we, we can't just ignore the fact that she could be telling the truth and he could be lying. So we can't do that. Um, I, but it's it's messy. I think this when you messy. I think when you get to the point where you start <laughs> seeing, okay, he's got receipts. He's been in the court, right? There's lawyer. There's, he's had lawyers involved. Judges have, have ruled over this situation of her saying to him, "I'm keeping you from your kids." Yeah. Her saying to him, the the um, the ex boyfriend or whatever the boyfriend now, <laughs> um, saying you know these kids have been coached. <laughs> What to say when they get on the stand, right? <laughs> Telling the judge what they do, with, wh- who they do and do not want to live with. Um, the fact that she served time in jail, he served, and the, uh, the, the uh, I guess the other boyfriend served time in jail. He took custody of all four of the kids, two that were not his. So when you get into this interview, you start thinking like, he's not going to go out there and expose himself yeah. to something that's going to pull him yeah. further down the hole. You can imagine that what he said she said she was going to do, which is I'm going to destroy your life, yeah. could be I'm going to make up things for the rest about of your you life. for the yeah. rest of your it life. It could be. You know? uh, shout out to Zakia uh, Simpson. She said, I did not want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he'll tell yeah, her, but I he ain't been talking about like the old freaky Nickelodeon <laughs> sex, though. He ain't finna bring that out, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He gonna tell on himself about that, bro. So, oh. He should have kept his mouth shut on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we don't know the truth here. So we're just yeah. hearing it from his side. But it was regardless of what's true and what's not true, he did speak for a lot of fathers that are going through this. Sure. Now, we want to give them room because um, there are a lot of fathers who want to see their kids. They love their kids. They're they're um, they they're trying to be good fathers and they're shut out. Mm-hmm. And I think nice. a lot of people are resonating with him because. He's been trying for years and years and years to have contact with um, his kids. And what he's alleging is that the, his kids have been coached to now hate him. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I want to say that that is, that is something I've heard a lot from mm-hmm. fathers that feel like they're being vilified in court and this and that. They love their kids. They want to be around their kids, but they're, they're being portrayed as a deadbeat dad. Because they're being painted a certain way. So she said she wanted to ruin his life. What do you think would be the motivation for her to feel so strongly about ruining his life? What uh, do you think would have to be done in order for her to feel that way? Like, well, I she went to jail. Would, yeah, she went to jail based on the fact that she had been, um, you know, caught up in fraud, all these different things. Um, she kept the kids from having a relationship, but when she went to jail, they got them. They had. They had to. You know. No they saying, but she said, I want to ruin your life. What did he do to make her so angry to the point where she's like, I want to ruin your life? Okay, in the interview, he said she did not want the divorce. Yeah. She, you know, basically, she, she, is, she was getting his money mm-hmm. and mismanaging his money, right? Mm-hmm. So you're talking about, I mean, I didn't know his resume was that deep until he, he started spinning it out. So, you know, mm-hmm. he's, had, he's made some money. Right. So if you get to the situation where, you know, you haven't been that person you know, that breadwinner, and now all of a sudden that's being taken off the table. Meal ticket, yeah. Yeah, you want to you wanna be in that situation uh, mm-hmm. 